Moving into our last story of the day, we got Stacey Abrams, folks, declaring it is a fallacy that we know exactly when pregnancy starts. <laughs> by the way, this, this lady still thinks she's the governor of Georgia, by the way. Uh, Georgia Democratic gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams claimed on Sunday that it is a fallacy that we know exactly when a pregnancy starts. Abrams has opposed Georgia's heartbeat law banning abortions after six weeks or when a fetal heartbeat can be detected. Appearing on Fox News Sunday, Abrams was asked about what she would consider an acceptable limit for abortion restrictions. Do you think that she answers the question or do you think she kind of dodges it here, folks? I'm sure you can kind of guess on where she's at in terms of answering the question, but let's go ahead and hear it from the horse's mouth together. For you to become governor, where would you draw the line? 15 weeks, viability, 36 weeks, what's the limit? Where, what I've always said is that abortion is a medical decision that should be made by a doctor and the woman, and that the point of viability as determined by a doctor should always take into consideration the life and health of a woman. That should be the standard. But the arbitrary standards of timelines ignore the medical reality that it is a fallacy. We know exactly when a pregnancy starts, that we know exactly where we are in the system, I mean, in the, in the term. And what doctors will tell you is that they need to make decisions based on the woman they are treating. And what women will tell you is that they need the right to make medical decisions that can save their lives and and save their ability to control their bodies and their futures. This lady, man. If you recall, just a few weeks ago, we did a story here on how she was basically saying that the ultrasounds were made up, that you weren't actually hearing the heartbeat, that it was a manufactured sound, it was fake. And then we got people that were commenting on it in our comments down below, talking about how it was legit, how what she was saying was true. When you can do a simple Google search, a simple Google search, I'm not saying look at Wikipedia. I mean, you can find primary sources that debunked what she said with the ultrasounds. And now she's gonna say as if we don't know when pregnancy starts, you can read pretty much any scientific journal and find that it starts at the, when the sperm meets the egg and then it's implanted. <laughs> it's, it's no knowledge and it has been no knowledge here. But she dodges the question, if you notice, she doesn't answer it on terms of, you know, were you to become governor, would you draw the line at 15 weeks? Viability, 36 weeks, what's the limit? If you notice, she dodges it because she's full anytime. Anytime from the start to the end till after it's born, she is all for killing these babies. And there'll be people in the comments again that are for it as well, which is basically you're talking to somebody that's pro-murder. I mean, think about that. If you said, hey, you know what? You can kill grandma anytime because she's non-sentient or whatever it is, that person in a nutshell, if it was a linear logic, would be all for it in terms of if we're talking about cognitive abilities or whatnot, because that's what they talk about as well pro-choice or now what we're calling them as pro-abortion. I also want to confirm with all of you, again, I used to be pro-choice for the majority of my life up until like age like 27. I was pretty much pro-choice. I'm 33 now. What kind of changed me was just reading, looking at medical journals, looking at what the science says, actually diving into seeing what reality is in terms of all this. Now, it's more of a philosophical argument in terms of if you want to start, talk about when life begins, and that's been going on from like Aristotle's time. Even the Catholic Church has swayed views on it throughout its history of when life begins in terms of are we talking about the natural life? Are we concurring it with animals in terms of the type of abilities from the human being to be able to cognizant or be aware of certain surroundings? All that stuff goes back to Aristotle's time trying to figure that out as well. You're looking at Thomas Aquinas kind of moving the shifting viewpoint of that, kind of absorbing certain aspects of Aristotle. So if you want to have that more philosophical conversation of when life begins, yeah, sure, we don't exactly know. And that's more of a religious viewpoint, I believe, in terms of when life begins. And I think that begins at conception. But that's more of a faith-based approach. Again, even the Catholic Church has swayed views on that. But that's not what she's talking about here. She's talking about actual science that you can verify in terms of when pregnancy begins. You can look at Harvard. You can look at Yale. You can look at Cornell. I mean, you can look at all these places, these, these institutions, and they'd all be resoundingly in the same spot of, yes, implementation, where it attaches, where it starts growing. So I know I'm being a dead horse here, but it's crazy. Abrams has made a series of public comments espousing radical and uncompromising pro-abortion views. In September, which we covered, Abrams claimed that a fetal heartbeat detectable by ultrasound equipment was a manufactured sound used as a tool to oppress women. Yes, you heard that correctly. She talked about the patriarchy too. She was attaching not this whole manufactured sound, not being able to detect a heartbeat as something that's legitimate to the patriarchy and ultimately oppressing women. Quote, quote, 
There's no such thing as a heartbeat at six weeks, Abrams said during a panel discussion last month. It is a manufactured sound designed to convince people that men have the right to take control of a woman's body in place of her. I was told men don't have a say in all this. So what are you talking about? I was also told with your party and the progressive left that men could have babies, but all of a sudden that men are trying to take control of women's bodies, but you can't even answer what a woman is, Stacey, or the rest of your party. Hell, Matt Walsh did an entire film on it. What is a woman? Nobody could seem to answer it. In a previous Fox News Sunday appearance in June, Abrams rejected a federal court decision that upheld the heartbeat law. Quote, I do not support the decisions. Of course, she doesn't. And I would reject the notion that this is still the will of the people. This is a political decision made by the narrowest of margins and done to satisfy an even narrower constituency. I believe that should be a choice made between a doctor and a woman and in a consultation with her family. But I think the challenge that we have is that we are putting in a political space. It's, it's obviously political. It's always going to be political. Hell, Roe v. Wade was political. You had Griswold v. Connecticut was political. You had the Dobbs decision was political. I mean, all this stuff is ultimately end up going to be political. But I think a lot of it has to do with basically the decline in religion here in America and the, and the decline of instituting those religious values into our youth and the school system, which has re been removed for quite some time. So there's a litany of, I think, philosophical conversation that can evolve in this in terms of when we started declining, when we started talking about this, you had, an, you had a decline in in religion in the United States, when abortion started increasing, I mean, there's some really, really fun, interesting statistical data on this in terms of why Americans have started becoming more pro-abortion in certain trimesters. You know, we've talked about this, I think, at length on the Bald Brad show, but I wanted to at least give you an update in terms of Stacey Abrams saying some really interesting, weird, crazy stuff here, especially just back, back in September. I wonder if this is going to be a weekly theme. September, she says that it's all fake. These ultrasounds aren't real. They're manufactured. The patriarchy, you're oppressing women with it. And now just a month later, she's saying it's a fallacy that we don't know exactly when a pregnancy starts. When you can look up in any medical journal, you talk to any doctor, they'll be able to answer it very clearly. So let's find out what she's going to say in November. Maybe she'll kick off December with a freaking banger. Who knows, folks? But we will be sure to cover it here on the Bald Brad Show. I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Bald Brad Show. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all our future content.